Hello, and we all know Skype, but I want to talk here about one of the lesser known features. If you scroll all the way down, uh, you have to actually go to see all features. So it's not that well advertised, but I find it extremely useful. There's the Skype translator here. So <clears throat> to get started, you want to make sure you're on the latest version of Skype as of June 2021. This appears to be <clears throat> version 8.68.0.96. And to prepare for it, <clears throat> there's a few things you want to do. First, in your general, you want to set the language. So <clears throat> it could go with detect language, but it seems to be better if you select one language. What I'm doing here, I tested it with German, American English, and Spanish, Spanish, as in from Spain. This was actually quite a catch for a while because the Spanish in Mexico didn't work. And the, it doesn't really tell you what works and what doesn't. So I recommend you start with <clears throat> any of those languages <clears throat> and afterwards um, try whatever else you might want to use. So I'm setting the language to American English, apply. Hmm. And as soon as it applies, And the next thing I want to do, I want to do the translation settings, also under the general tab. So I'm going to set it to English, American English. And you can pick a voice for the translation. And this is up to you if you want to share. <clears throat> Another thing I found important is under the calling feature to set up the subtitles. Again, the spoken language is in US English. I want to always see the subtitles on the call and I want to turn off that only show subtitles for other participants. It seems a little strange if you want to see your own subtitles, but really that's the only way you can check that Skype understands you correctly and, and will have a chance of translating whatever you're saying. So <clears throat> I found it very important to have this turned off that you can see your own subtitles too during the call. And Basically, I want the subtitles to start automatically. That seems to work, make it a lot easier. So with these settings, I can now go ahead and find a contact, click on the contact, and here, again at the bottom, I want to set I already have the translation enabled. I'm going to stop it right now to show how it works. What you will see here is send translation request. So I'm clicking on this and then I'm waiting for a response and that response will pop up <clears throat> on the other end. Hola. Recibiste? Okay, seems enabled now. So then again, I go, this is English, female, whatever you want there. So now I should be all set for the translation. I can type here in English, hi. 
and it will, on the other hand, it will show up at translated as Hola. How are you today? And again, Como te va? I might receive an answer. Hola, ¿cómo te va? Hmm. So first I see what she types and then I see the translation. All right, everything is fine. I'm going to go back to the settings and show on the other side how it looks like. So I'm going to stop the translation. Puedes invitarme? turn this off now it's been disabled and here so when I sent this request to enable translation this is what the other end receives I accept and now it's been en en enabled again <clears throat> so now I'm going to start the call and it shows this is a translated conversation Hola. Hola. And it should work with the video. I can turn the video on. There we go. So the subtitles might take a while. I already have them activated. And you can see, first I hear the Spanish, and then I hear, hear a female voice with the translation. Hmm. All right it doesn't always work perfectly, as you can see. On the other hand, whatever you see here in English will get translated in, into Spanish and spoken to her. Can you understand me okay? Sí, entendiendo. Yes, I understand you. So this is how it works. That's pretty much all to it. With decent bandwidth, it should work in both directions, uh, with video and just with a phone call. And if you have little bandwidth, you might want to turn off the camera. Or again, uh, make sure to first try it with German, English or Spanish from Spain. Ciao.